We, we need to talk about some grown-up topics. Some grown-up topics and let's say how how can we talk about this? This is a this is a woman. I really forgot her name. It's like Bonnie Blue or something. This is like something like that. It's a, I don't remember her name. But she wants to break the record of being if uh, you can understand what I mean by being with 1,000 men in 24 hours. And, and you know that she, she already has the physiognomy that she is lost, all right? That she is completely lost. And as Pico says, imagine explaining this to someone from the early 9000s, 19, 19s, uh, 19, 1900s. Uh, to apply, email a photo or your ID and a photo of you holding your ID to your face. Uh, as a, as a Sc Calvin Robinson says, Gabriel, sound the darn trumpet. It is time. How is, how have reached this uh, level of depravity? And I, ha I need to talk about this. I need to talk about this and this other thing. OnlyFans model makes staggering 43 million, 43 million dollars. 43 million dollars in just one year on the platform. Uh, Sophie Rain uh, revealed in a Thanksgiving post that she's making 4 million per month selling pictures and videos of herself online. I mean, uh, at some point I needed to talk about this. It's something that we need to talk about. It's, it's not even the loss of values. It's like, you know that many, many people ask the question, why are these people and uh, this man, mainly it, it's men, paying these models so much money in tips and subscription and all this when they can find whatever they want for free anywhere else in the internet? I mean, it's, it is it is quite easy, right? It's uh, as easy as you can imagine. and. And have a variety. You don't have to settle for uh, one girl. You can just watch thousands of, of, of them in, in, in minutes. So why does this happen? You, you might ask. There's a, there's a principle in which men are not, well, they are for the flesh. Okay, The flesh is like the, the, the hook, the fleshy part. But they are really for the connection. They're looking for a connection. Men nowadays are a star of a connection. And I'm ju not justifying. This is not to justify men. This is, this is to say that uh, men are hopeless and hopelessly, well, pathetically looking for a connection, any sort of connection with a woman. And what these women, what they do, is that they have this uh, automated way of messaging this man that reach out to them. And many of these men already know, many of these men already know that if they are chatting with Sophie, it's not Sophie that they are chatting with. They are chatting with uh, an assistant or something. They, but those assistants that could be men, which makes that all the more strange and perverted, they make sure that they give these uh, subscribers the girlfriend experience. Like these men who pay for subscriptions and pay for tips for images of videos of, of this girl or any OnlyFans model, they're looking for the feeling of having an actual girlfriend. Okay? Yeah, it's that pathetic. Is that they are trying to channel... Uh, they're trying to channel this desire that goes way beyond just the fleshy part. You know, the, yeah, the, the, the flesh. They want the connection. They cannot have that connection anywhere else. There is a possibility. There is a possibility, which is not good. In fact, in, in, in the interviews, 
that uh, I was planning to do. I haven't been able to contact them, but there's uh, this thing with AI, which is coming, which is not a solution, which is going to get worse, in fact. But I wanted to, to interview one of these guys who is uh, developing uh, not only software, but, but hardware. Because at some point, not only AI, but robots will take this place for both women and, and men. I mean, I'm, I, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be realistic here. Robots that you will be able... Well, the robots will need the fleshy parts as well. But the AI uh, is that you can have an AI girlfriend. And if you have used ChatGPT, you can see that, well, it, it, it can be really, really clever in many ways. But some people are created this AI girlfriends that are, well... Of course, they are not, it's not a real relationship. You can even adjust how nagging your girlfriend is or how submissive is or how bossy if you want uh, of, of what kind of circumstances or every single part of the interaction and all of that is, of course, artificial. You know it's artificial, but still they have all the ways of connecting, in this case with a digital persona. You could ask me, what is worse? I, 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 I really don't know. For women, in the sense of women, I think that it would be better if at least these men who want this connection could do it with an AI. Because the part of the sex work, I don't know, this is still sex work. And I don't think a woman should be happy with herself in the long term. You can have all the millions, but dignity is another thing. And speaking of sex work, that's what I wanted to mention this. Belgium makes sex work a real job with benefits. Starting today, sex workers in Belgium get official labor rights, including health insurance, paid leave, and pensions. Pensions. This follows a 2022 decision to decriminalize sex work, but now it's been treated like any other job with contracts and protections. Workers can refuse clients, set boundaries, and stop an act at any moment. Employers must jump through hoops for a state authorization, meet strict safety rules. I. This is the kind of things, this is the kind of topics that would be nice to debate live. Uh, we have, have somebody to d debate live uh, about these topics. Is this good or bad? Uh, is sex work going to stop? Should it be regulated? It is a good, good thing. In this case, this is the kind of things, little by little, the Jesus Enrique Rosa show will have, will, will evolve. I don't have a panel at this, this time. The idea would be we have to a panel, someone who says, which is pro-regulated uh, sex work, and somebody who says that is against sex work, in a moral and a spiritual sex, uh, <laughs> spiritual sense, okay, spiritual sex is nice, by the way, tantric sex, but I'm not talking about that. In a spiritual sense of the word, I am against sex work. I, I don't think that is uh, uh, morally right. Uh, that, that is not right. The, the sanctity of uh, sex uh, should, sh should be something that is uh, protected. All right, in the sense that it's it's not just not right. It's not the way that I think of it. I should elaborate on this uh, topic. I should write about this. I haven't written in a while for my email list. It would be it would be strange that I don't write through my email list, and all of a sudden I begin writing about sex work. But it's something that I should do. It's not right, but I have to be real. That is not going to stop anytime soon. That. They call it the the oldest job in the work and in the world. It's not going to stop. This is not going to to stop any anytime soon. So if it is not going to stop, maybe regulating it will be a good idea. But then we go to the we go back we jump back to the, the thing the. The heart of the matter, because one thing is maybe you want, you know, you, you're a man, you're stressed, you need a one-off, and you go for, to, for your local 
girlfriend experience and have a, you know, face-to-face encounter, uh, consensual, commercial, uh, fleshy encounter. Everybody is served. Nothing happens. Uh, nothing bad happens. But the problem is, I think it's much more concerning this part. The millions of men who are craving a connection and cannot even have an actual connection with a woman. That is orders of magnitude worse because sex, sex work, we, we could say the 70s or the 80s, sex work existed and Humanity was not as bad in, in, in a bad shape. Men were not in, in such a bad shape as this. This is worse in so many ways. I'm not, I'm not going to say that the other option is good. I think that this is even worse because it's this lack of connection. And men are trying to hijack that lack of connection with a girlfriend which it could be just a, a guy at the other end of the, of the text chat, which is, is odd, right? So I think we are in a spiritual and a mental and an emotional war. I mean, this is, this is simply not right. I mean, some of you uh, could say, oh, but som- sometimes women, this is the only way that women can uh, get work. I don't think so. I don't think so. In, in fact, one of the things, one of the things that I will be covering on my upcoming interviews is how to make money online, not through OnlyFans, of course. So I think that is important as well. I, I, I want to talk about so many topics. I have, I have upcoming uh, guests, and that is one thing. Okay, you can make money on OnlyFans, what if you can make money in other ways that are not OnlyFans? That that would be a nice uh, a nice idea, right? A nice way. And another thing that I need to point out that many people don't know, many people don't know about this, is that these are outliers. These are like 0.0001% of the earners on these platforms. This is not typical. This is not typical. This is like saying that every YouTuber is like Mr. Beast or any YouTuber can have the success of Mr. Beast. No, that, that doesn't happen. That you are, the vast majority of OnlyFans, uh, uh, let's say models, earn less than, I think like it's like $200 uh, a month or something like that. So that is that is the sad reality. You, you're you're selling you're selling your soul for two hundred dollars a month. That is, I don't know, I don't know. It's uh, I don't. It's, uh, this is not typical. At the same time, it's concerning the lack of connection. It's concerning the lack of connection. Oh, I've I've seen I've seen that Veronica is around here. I saw Veronica. Where's Veronica? <laughs> official sex work and it's important to request an early retirement I want I already uh, wrote to Veronica to interview her I, I need to answer your email Veronica haven't had time but maybe we can make this work I want to interview you I'm sure that we can make this work before the end of this year uh, there were more mortals in the 60s and 70s I agree with you quiet girl quiet girl always has Solid takes. Solid takes. Oh, it's, it's, it's important. Yeah, you, you could say, some of you are saying that, oh, there's a lot of judgment uh, uh, right here. But tell me, how can, how can we deal with this? How is this a thing? 